Hey friends, I just wanted to make a little quick um, video. I know a lot of people were asking about how to batch edit with the BR collection. Um, this is how I do it personally. It may not work for you. It might. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and click this button here with my actions panel. Go ahead and create a new action. I'm going to call it the Holly workflow. Now I'm going to come back up and the way that it works is you kind of go through and select the actions that you would like to apply across the board to all of your images. Um, so let's say I wanted to go ahead and boost the background. And then you would click play. Perfect. And then you want to come in. Um, excuse me. Let's say I want vibrant color. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and say I want to hit it with, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background, they're being silly. Um, you know, let's, let's hit it with um, this We Will Rock You. So that's a little dark for me, but maybe at 50%, let's say it would look good, um, some of my images that I'm editing. And then I'm going to hit it with the neutral pop and also click play. You can see that these actions are stacking in the right hand side here. Um, so once I've decided that these are the actions that I want to play, I'm going to go ahead and you can either um, hold control and click all of them, right click and then group from layers, or you can leave it as is. Let's call this Holly workflow. Excellent. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit this stop recording button here. So when I right click that, you can see, or left click, you can see that there's all these um, layers in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this all the way back. And then you can see that I've got a Holly workflow action. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. And it's going to go ahead and play all of those actions for me, right? Awesome. That's what we want. So then I'm going to come back here and to batch, you come up to file, automate and batch. Then you would select the action panel, which it's in the Bohemian Rhapsody, the action you'd like to use, the custom workflow. Um, and you can select your folder. So I had a senior session here. And then you click OK. Once you do that, it's going to open up all of these images. It's going to apply that preset to all of those images. You can come in, mask it, and adjust it. If it was something that you were confident, you absolutely do not need adjusting on. You can also set it to open, edit, and close. Like if you're um, doing like the portraiture or the painterly at the end, where it's going to flatten your image anyway, you can set it up to auto save right after using it. Um, so I hope that's helpful for some of the people that were talking about utilizing these with a larger workflow. It's absolutely possible. Is it as efficient as Lightroom? Maybe not, but I feel like Photoshop sometimes gives us some things that, um, are harder to achieve in Lightroom. So there's, there's pros and cons for both, but thank you so much for supporting Shannon and... Um, greater than Gatsby in this collection, and if I can be of any sort of help, let me know.